today we're going to time an Evo 9 engine. And this is Josh, one of my lead mechanics. I guess. He has timed so many Evo engines, we lost count. So I always start by putting the belt here on the cams and then stick it there on the idle lift. And then when you're by yourself, these zip ties really, really help you. Because when you're trying to put the belt on, the other pulleys, it's gonna jump off of there. And you zip tie the whole. And you it. can check your timing marks with the valve cover. There's two notches for each cam gear. And uh, I'm gonna point this out here. Jack put that valve cover on, and we noticed that this mark is one two thousand, and we gotta move this over. There you go. Got this nice timing tool here from STM. Helps lock your cams in place. It's usually a two-person guy putting it on, but I've got it down. I can do it myself a lot of times. As long as that cam there doesn't move on you. Yeah. And we're back. We're back in action. You do not want to time being out of tooth. Kiss your valves goodbye. Or the car would run. I'll always spin this oil pump around here to find the spot that it wants to be in. because it can be 180 out very easy. And if this oil pump gear is 180 out, the whole car will vibrate. Violently. You will definitely know. But we're gonna just get it right the first time. That's our goal. And we only use uh, OEM Evo 9 timing belts for obviously Evo 9 engine. They're a lot stronger. You can use them on Evo 8s as well. Another thing that helps you too, on the crank, you spin it out one tooth, and then whenever you pull your tension, it brings the timing mark usually dead on. See that? Spot on. And you gotta pull your tension until your pin moves in and out freely with little resistance. Yep, see how that moves nice and easy? That's where you want it. Now you gotta get a 14 ratchet and tighten this and hold it from turning at the same time. If we have a 14 out. I always double check my marks as I go and make sure they're all good. They all look beautiful. And still moves nice and free. It's exactly what you want. That's how you know the tension set properly. Right here. Pull your pin. Pull your cam lock tool. And the last step is grab some side cuts and snip your zip ties. Now you successfully timed the Evo engine. You spin her over, ready to drop in. Spin her over a few times, you can check the timing marks. And guys, one thing we already did um, before we timed the engine, we actually primed the entire engine with the oil pump gear. 
Maybe you get a nice quiet start, no dry starts. And it will also help you if you have any type of leaks. I mean, right away, it will show you. It'll show you right away. I'm gonna spin a little bit more. Double, triple check all your marks. They all look good. All right, guys, stay tuned.